Did you, uh, I know we're doing the top five segment today. Did you do a top five Drake collaborations? I did, and my daughter helped me. Okay. What's the top five Drake collaborations? Top five, okay, top five, so, top five. So, Mike, you're going to like this. Okay. The first record gave me when I asked her was Migos. Hmm. Okay, how I want to talk. She's like, that's got to be on there. Ah. So, that at number five. Okay. All right. Now, Mike, I had a, I had a, I had a tough, tough decision because I didn't want to pick two R- Ross records. Where are you going with Aston Martin Music or Dice Pineapples at not number four? Where are we going? Where are we going? That's tough, Wait. man. I'm gonna say Aston Martin Music. I was leaning towards Aston Martin Music, Mike, because I think that's the more objectively better song. But I like Dice Pineapples more personally. But that's why I was asking that question. Two great collaborations. Beautiful. Okay, so. <clears throat> I, Mike, for a minute, I had to check because I was about to put the model at number one. The model is Drake's record. Okay. We're only doing features. Re- he's featured on. What do you think about my two picks so far? No, no, I like them. Hold on one second. Uncle Fran with the super chat says, uh, "So Nas is slapping Jay on slow it down. So who's still concerned with who? Even after six classics." Um, Joe Young with the super chat says, "My bad, Coop. You did say twenty years ago. <laughs> I agree, one hundred. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> dudes be wild. Stay, show, stay right? scheming. I think is is should be there in my opinion. What stay scheming? Yeah, Drake's feature on there was great. I had that as honorable mention, Mike. You know what else I where... liked him on? You probably don't have this on here. One hundred with the game." That was on my honorable mention list. <laughs> Killed that shit. Hold on one second, Mike. And then he I'm did the hook my... on there, too. Yeah, he did. Like, this man is going to be able to give you a hook with his joints as well. Esquire with the super chat. He got, um, Esquire says, Do yourself a favor and listen to Schoolboy Q. Blessed, illuminate uh, with Absol. Uh, Isaiah Rashad's What's Wrong, Wild Freestyle, Easy Bake, Mona Lisa. I definitely loved him on um, Illuminate, Wild Freestyle, and uh, what's the other one he said? Yeah, that was about it. (laughs) Illuminate, Wild Freestyle. Go for it. We made it. Ooh. That's a good... I forgot all about that one. Yeah. That's my... His feature game runs deep. Yeah, I forgot about that one. That's a legit number one. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. This man is ranked higher than we think. And I think that Drake has has dealt with being the corny guy in hip-hop for so long that it's tough to overcome for some people. But if we look at the work, this is hard to refute. Mike, you're going to love my number two. No Lie with 2 chains. It's oh, one of his best verses. I think that's dope. Verse where I was like, nah, fam can rap rap. Yeah. He can rap rap. I was like, because you know, because the circles we run in, people be like, oh, Drake can't rap. I'd be like, you hear him on the chains record? I was like, no, it sounds like he can rap. Yeah. It sounds like he can rap rap. Champagne and two chains. You want true? That's true enough. All the malls, like every year, my office is my tour bus. She came through. She got food. She got fuck. She knew what's up. She say I'm the realest. I say damn that makes two, two of us. us. Oh no, that shit hard. <laughs> no lie, we keep it in Atlanta. We got some egos and two chains on the Drake. Ross yeah, live is. in Atlanta. That's three for th- three out of the four ATL driven. <laughs> But Mike, his best features moment for life with Nikki. Oh. It's still one. It's I didn't still expect the one. you to go there. Okay. And you know but my daughter actually confirmed it because Asaya was like maybe two when that record came out. Mm. And when I said it to her today, she was like, yeah, she's like, that's one of his best ones. She's like, that's it. And I'm thinking like, oh, you know the record. That's why I'm taking it number one. Because the fact that a 16-year-old knows that record. And I can have a conversation with the 16-year-old and be like, yo, what you think about Moment for Life? Oh, yeah, that's it. It's like, oh, that means that record's still playing, Mike. Confirm, right. 
I mean, that record's still playing. The facts. Mad Max in the Super Chat says, for those um, mad that I said that Drake is better than thought, <laughs> you niggas like to finish uh, like the finish line. We can't wait to run into you. Tell thought to make some memorable quotes. <laughs> Here go Mad Max with the bar talk again. Dari Star with the twenty dollars super chat showing love says to Pimp a Butterfly is better than Good Kid, Mad City as a complete album. Musically, no, it's commercially, it's better. Even his pen is better. The only thing that isn't is some of the traditional rap shit, but it's still great music. Dari also says, I didn't mean to say commercial. <laughs> there it is. Yo, he killed Truffle Butter, too. I mean, it's really, we could do a whole top 20 with Drake we could features. Do Drake speakers. Okay, well, speaking of no. 20, are you ready no, no, to go no, no, down no. song for song with our Kanye and Jay thing? Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not about to let people act like the Pimple Butterfly is better than Good Kid Mad City. That is a lie. You don't have <laughs> enough great records on there to make that claim. Stop that. Okay. Okay. This Good is Kid Mad great records. <laughs> we should do uh, a To Pimple Butterfly versus Good Kid Mad City station here. You know which one I'm taking? I'll take, uh, I'll take To Pimple Butterfly. That's my chance. 